you can draw a direct line. And everybody that, that or anything that wasn't on the ark died off. So the only things that survived and the only humans that survived was on the ark. After Noah, I can do, draw a direct line to King David, which is the first person that is described in what he looks like. And you can go and read the description of King David, and you will see he was a white man with a reddish complexion and red hair. So the image of God that Adam was created in was white. It had this uniform on. The rest must have also been on the ark. They couldn't have been part of, of the humans. They must have been part of the animals. And only... That's a very radical theory, JP. I think so, Nick. So then now they were animals. You, you can call them what they like. Their name was translated. Actually, so what were they called? what were they called in the Bible? I can't remember the word. It's a Hebrew word. But it, it's been translated to Dira van die Veld. And everywhere you read about the Dira van die Veld in the Bible, you will see they've got human capabilities. They, they can touch, they can wear clothes, they can... They, I, I, I don't know. Chimpanzees, no, gorillas. I don't, I, don't, I don't call them monkeys or chimpanzees. What I'm telling you is God created everything he created by speaking a word. Only Adam was created by God, God with his hands and he blew his spirit into Adam. And I believe the white skin is a descendant of Adam directly. It sounds very uncompromising. <laughs> you don't <Okay>. upset. <laughs> no, he hasn't upset her, but uh, we are. Uh, unbelief. That, that unbelief. It's terrible. It's terrible. 